I think probably one of the, the biggest changes I've seen um, in the years that I've played and the few years that I was out of the league would, would be the talent level. Um, you know, in 97 when the league first started, um, there was there was definitely talent, um, but it's a, a lot more, I think there's a lot more parity now, there's a lot more talent now, and you know, when the league first started, there was probably three or four teams that you could pick at the beginning of the year and say, okay, they're probably going to win the championship. You know, now it's any anybody can win any year, um, and it's just, it's, it's very competitive. I think the league has grown tremendously. Um, obviously, we still have a lot of work to, to do and, and a long way to go, but um, it's, it's definitely grown since, uh, since 97. And one of the challenges for veterans like yourself, kind of finding ways to continue to produce, and so how have you developed your game over the years from your years in Houston, your season in Seattle, and your season now in Tulsa? Um, you know, I, I don't really think it's uh, about me trying to find a way to develop anymore. Um, for me at this point uh, in my career, it's, a, it's a more of a matter of, of being a leader um, for a very young team. Um, you know, being a mentor, being a, a motivator, uh, and, and just being a teacher of the game. Um, you know, obviously, I, I don't expect to come in and didn't expect to come in this season and, and do the things that I did, um, you know, five, ten years ago. Um, but I still enjoy it. It's still fun. Um, I just love, I love competing. Uh, and being able to be in a position I'm in now with these young players, um, you know, just trying to, to show them the way and, and be a teacher and, and guide them and lead them. Um, you know, I, I wouldn't change it. Obviously, we all wish, you know, our record was better, but, um, you know, everybody's still playing hard. Everybody's still trying to stay positive, and that's all you could ask out of anybody right now. One of the things that's symb symbolizing this league is chemistry, and that's gone from the first year in that alliterative big three of yours with you and Thompson and Cynthia Cooper. Mm -hmm. And so how would you say the chemistry has helped bond and get all these players through season 15? Well, I mean, I think it's huge. I don't. Sometimes I think people um, tend to think that just having talent is enough. Um, and yeah, it's great to have talent on your team, but if you don't have that right chemistry, it doesn't really matter how much talent you have. And I think that was one of the the best things that we had. Um, you know, the years back in Houston, um, we had talent, but at the same time, we had chemistry. Um, everybody understood what their roles were. Everybody understood what it was going to take as an individual. What I had to do as an individual, um, you know, and then as a team, we just kind of brought it every single day. And um, you know, you look at teams. Um, in, in the league today that might have, you know, one, two or three so-called superstars, um, but they're not winning. Um, and I think that's simply because they haven't found the chemistry. Um, they don't really understand um, what it takes to win. And, you know, and, and a lot of players in, in the league today aren't really willing to accept their role. Uh, and, and that's one thing that I really appreciated about every player we had on our team back, um, you know, when I was with Houston is it didn't really matter what was asked of any player on the team. Everybody was willing to accept their role. And I think that's why we were so successful. And what have you noticed in terms of criticisms or other jabs at the league that you could look back on now and say, think again? Um, I mean, I don't know. I just, I think when it first started, everybody kind of had their doubts and, you know, and said, you know, okay, yeah, another women's professional league, it's not going to last. Um, you know, really the only thing I can say now is, you know, we're in our 15th season now, we're still around, um, you know, still strong and, and better than ever. So I don't think it gets any better than that. No, you're in a hurry. So is there anyone you'd like to say hi to before we wrap up this interview? No, because there's a lot of people. And if I miss somebody, somebody's going to get mad. So no. Well, thanks for speaking with us. Congratulations on your fine career. And you've come a long way since you had a bunch of little kids, uh, critique your jump shot many years ago. <laughs> I remember that too. Thank you. <laughs>